a mini quiz, a short quiz to test our understanding so far. Which of the following is a real account? A. Building account. B. Capital account. C. Rent account. B. All of this. I'll just give you 10 seconds to think it over. Which is a real account? Building is a real account. What is capital? It's a personal account. What is rent? It is a nominal account. So your correct option should be A. <clears throat> building account is a real account. Rent of proprietor's house paid from business account by cash will A. Decrease the profit B. Increase the profit C. Reduce the capital of the business D. Reduce the cash as well as capital of the business. It's following the accounting equation approach. What are the accounts involved here actually? Rent of the proprietor's house is paid from the business by cash. So cash is involved and owner's account. Owner's account but money is being paid for the owner. It's like a drawing. It's like a drawing. So is there a decrease in profit? Frankly, there is no, no expense or income involved. It does not affect profit. Will it reduce the capital of the business when money is brought in by the proprietor? When money is brought in by the proprietor, it is capital. If it is withdrawn, it is a reduction of capital or an increase in drawings. But let us just look at the fourth option. It reduces the cash. Yes, since cash is gone, that's right. As well as capital of the business. This is more correct than C option. Therefore, our correct answer should be D. Cash goes out and it reduces the capital of the business because the drawings going up and capital coming down is one and the same. Remember, what is capital account? Money which is brought in by the owner is capital account. What is drawings account? Money which is withdrawn by the owner is drawings account. When the owner's house rent is paid by the business, it is like money being withdrawn by the owner because it is for his personal purpose. It is as if he has withdrawn the money. So capital comes down or drawings goes up. So the correct option, the most accurate option should be option D. Option D reduces the cash, also reduces the capital of the business. X purchased land for 10 lakhs. He gave a check for 2 lakhs and accepts a bill of 8 lakh due after 60 days. As a result, A, total assets increased by 10 lakh, total liabilities decreased by 10 lakh. B, total assets increased by 8 lakh and total liabilities decreased by 8 lakh. C, total assets increased by 8 lakh, total liabilities increased by 8 lakh. D. Total assets increased by 10 lakh and total liabilities increased by 10 lakh. Which is the correct option? What has happened here? Land has come in 10 lakhs. Land, asset. comes in 10 lakh plus 10 lakh. He gave check of 2 lakh. So minus 2 lakhs gone. This is what? This is land. This is uh, this is check bank. Okay. So your assets now 8 lakh. And what has happened? Accepts a bill. What is a bill? A liability to pay. So liability has gone up by 8 lakh. So it looks as if assets have gone up by 8 lakh, liabilities have gone up by 8 lakh. What is that option? Total assets increased by 8 lakh, total liabilities increased. Option C seems to be the correct answer. Assets have increased by 8 lakh because land has come in for 10 lakh, but 
bank has reduced by 2 lakh therefore net increase in assets is only 8 lakh and liability because we still have this due of 8 lakh payable after 60 days liabilities has increased by 8 lakh correct answer c which of the following is not a real account cash a cash b investment c outstanding rent and d purchases account not a real account Cash is a real account, investment is a real account, outstanding rent is not real, it's a personal account and purchases, we have considered it as a nominal account but very often there is a school of thoughts that says that purchases is nothing but goods which are purchased and therefore goods is a real account. So in such an option, in such a case where you have an option which is clearly not a real account like outstanding rent, this would be our correct answer. Purchases, since sometimes it is referred to as a nominal account because it's an expense, benefit of it you get in the current year. But sometimes it is also a school of thought considers it as a real account because goods come in. So going by that, since we have an option which is clearly a personal account, we will say our correct answer is C, outstanding rent account, which is a representative personal account. Correct answer, C, outstanding rent account is not a real account. Next, debit, debit signifies increase in asset account, B, decrease in liability account, C, decrease in capital account, D, all of the above. Debit signifies. Debit increase in asset is definitely debit. Decrease in liability is also debit. Decrease in capital is also debit. Therefore, your correct answer is all the above. All the above. 